Hi, my name is Josh Apple. I'm an instructor with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Virginia Golf Center and I'm going to talk about angle of attack. Angle of attack is uh, a topic a lot of people have questions on or don't really understand. It's something that you see on launch monitors all the time or your instructor may talk about, but you might not really know what it is. Angle of attack is the angle in which you're coming into the golf ball. With an iron, it should be a downward angle, and with a driver, it should actually be an upward angle. And I'm going to explain now why that is. So when we're hitting an iron, we should be catching the ball on the way down. That is why our angle of attack is negative. So when you're on the way down, you should be going down into the ground and catching it while you're going down into the ground. That's why your angle of attack should be negative. With an iron, you're looking for about negative four to negative six degrees in terms of your angle. Uh, that would be ideal. A lot of amateur golfers think they need to help the ball in the air and lift it, which would actually make you catch it on your upswing. And that would actually make the ball go lower because you would now make thin contact and not go into the ground. If you try to help it in the air, you're going to hit up high on the golf ball and see a very low shot. But if you properly go into the ground, coming in with a negative four to negative six attack angle, well then, with that motion, the ball will register up higher on the face because the club is going into the ground. And when the ball registers up higher on the face, right in the middle, then you'll see your ball actually go up higher into the air. So the more you hit down on it, the more it goes up. The misconception is you need to help it in the air, but that actually makes it go lower. But the driver is slightly different. So unlike an iron, when you're actually supposed to go into the ground, hit down on it to make the ball go up, now with the driver, you're supposed to catch it on your upswing. So you're looking for maybe a positive one attack angle rather than a negative four. So you're catching the ball on your upswing because now the ball is up in the air, teed up high, it's no longer on the ground. Your ball position with your driver is going to be further forward, like this, and the club should bottom out and be on the way up slightly by the time you get to the golf ball, just because the ball is now high up in the air. So as you can see, my club bottomed out and started coming back up, and that's when you make contact with the ball with the driver. I'm Josh Apple, and that is your tip of the day.